And as we come on the air, a Bloomington woman is undergoing surgery, a 12-hour heart transplant. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. This will be Michaela Montgomery's second heart after being born with a heart problem. Brent Brooks spoke with her and her mother this morning just before she went in for surgery and joins us live in the studio with our top story tonight, Brett. And Amber and Tyler, Michaela is now on our four of 12 of a heart transplant surgery, like you guys said. She was on the donor list for just two weeks. Last week, the doctors thought that they found a match, but it wasn't a perfect match for her. And then yesterday, another chance at life, they found another heart. And she knows this new heart is a special gift, and it came from a special person just ahead of her 26th birthday this weekend. I just have some jitters and some nerves, but I'm excited and um, I know my dad's going to be there with me the whole time. Typically, most people blow out candles for their birthday, but days before Michaela Montgomery turns 26 on Saturday, she is ringing this bell. She was born with a heart condition and received her first transplant at just nine years old. So I was born with a heart defect called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And when I was nine, I got my first heart transplant. And I did really good for a long time. And about six months ago, my heart started to give out and weaken. And I um, had what's called coronary artery disease. As a stepmother to five teenagers, she tells us that she's grateful her donor allowed her to have another opportunity to grow and have a future with them. They were worried they would never see me again, and I'm going to be here for a couple extra years to see them grow up and graduate. Now she says she's grateful that she has a praying grandmother whose son, her father, is with her every step of the way and understands what she's going through firsthand. I don't want to cry, but it's been a struggle because uh, I think when she was younger, you know, she didn't know a lot of what was going on and just kind of just went with the flow. This time it's been a lot harder because she doesn't have her dad here. Um, so she's, you know, had a tremendous loss last year. Uh, her dad actually passed away from the same heart condition that caused her to need her first heart transplant. So um, it's been an emotional roller coaster and uh She's staying pretty strong. You know, just knowing that my dad is up there working his magic with him. And I just got the phone with Michaela's mother. They just made the incision. Michaela is currently at Northwestern for the procedure. And because of the travel and the medical bill she's going to encounter, her family is trying to raise $25,000 through their GoFundMe. She went into surgery at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and she should be expected to be there until midnight tonight. She's going to remain asleep for the next couple of days as the doctors monitor her body's response to the new heart. We're going to keep you updated on her progress on our website, 25newsnow.org.